much. Uh, welcome to the winery bar here at the uh, Immigrant Restaurant. Uh, today we're going to uh, kind of go through a little uh, kind of a cocktail rendition uh, and a trend that's definitely been uh, taking on over the last couple of years uh, and that's being a little bit more uh, garden uh, focused with uh, cocktails. Uh, so what we have here today is uh, what we call the Time Collins uh, and with that in mind uh, what we've done is we've again kind of taken an old classic recipe of the Tom Collins uh, and we've changed it just a little bit. Uh, so we're starting off with our Nolets Gin uh, that we're actually currently infusing uh, with a little bit of fresh thyme from the garden. Uh, and what that's going to do, we let it sit for about three, three and a half hours or so. Uh, gets a nice infusion in there. Uh, adds with the uh, botanicals that are already in the uh, kind of a light floral Nolets Gin here. Uh, and that's going to add a really nice herbaceous tone to what we're doing. So with that in mind, We're going to take some of the uh, infused gin here, just about an ounce and a half. Alongside that, a uh, little bit of simple syrup. Then we're going to go over to our fresh juicer. Get a little bit of fresh lemon juice going. You want just about a half an ounce or so, depending on the size of the lemon. Uh, I would say do, uh, do a full lemon just to make sure you have enough. And you pour that right over the top here. Now, if you don't, uh, if you don't have enough time, or if you don't want to infuse an entire jar of the uh, of the gin here, just muddle a little bit of the fresh thyme in there, and we're actually going to add a little bit for garnish as well. So, on top of that, shake our cocktail. We're going to add a little bit of ice. Now this is something I like to finish off with a little bit of club soda as well. Kind of takes away from a little bit of the acidity, brightens up the entire, the entire cocktail. Let me take a little skewer of the thyme. Go back to our classic cocktail recipe, which calls for uh, just a skewer of cherry. Let me add that right on top. And you have your thyme collins.